PJ and Amy in Los Angeles after leaving New York as they try to escape the giant new headline. Good Morning America says goodbye to their scandal-plagued anchor team. No, it's too bad it's Friday. Is it? 56 days after they were last on air together. It's been a great week. We want this one to keep going and going and going. We have confirmed that TJ Holmes and Amy Roback are out at GMA3 after their affair was exposed. And that led to a two-month-long suspension and what TMZ says was an extremely contentious mediation session yesterday that some are calling a witch hunt because brand new claims of misconduct were made. One of the allegations against Amy is that she had liquor bottles in her office. We all know that they're gifts from the bosses oftentimes. In fact, this one is from my boss. In lieu of money, he gives me scotch. For his part, TJ has also been faced with reports of multiple affairs with junior staffers during his time at ABC, going all the way back to 2015. TJ and Amy's chemistry was undeniable on their set and ours. How does it feel to have the, the team locked in place? Bringing TJ on has just right. made it perfect. That could be a part of the problem, since their behavior reportedly made some staff uncomfortable. Their suspension, though, has not slowed down their romance a bit. Amy was spotted earlier this month leaving TJ's New York apartment, and they spent the end of 2022 on a loved-up vacation to Miami. Amy's divorce from Andrew Shu is close to being finalized, and TJ filed for divorce from his wife, Mara Lee, last month. So lots of divorce lawyers in the mix here, and contract lawyers as they try to finalize their exit from ABC. And we're joined by Kayla Brantley, who's an exclusives reporter for DailyMail.com. Kayla, there are other television duos that are together now that have met right. at work. What are the comment sections saying? Well, the wild thing is that when we first disclosed and first revealed their relationship, people were actually really behind them. They love this couple. People are definitely team TJ and Amy. I don't know how their spouses feel about that or their soon to be ex-spouses, but people seem to be able to look past the infidelity and really root for this couple. Cancel culture works in a gotcha environment. If, if someone's like, we got you, and they're like, oh, God, you got me, and they start to panic, then it exactly. feeds and it eats them. Those two came together, walked out, held hands. They went to the airport together. They have not flinched. You think that's worked well for them? Well, ABC is also saying that they didn't disclose the relationship to them soon enough, and they also got blindsided once they did, you know, get caught in their relationship. But they are putting on a united front, so they are going strong. <laughs>